Good morning, and thanks for joining us on Military Hour. We have with us again today John Kittler, retired 30-year Navy captain. John's going to share with us this morning uh, a good bit of information. Good morning, John. How are you? Hey, good morning, Kerry. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, it's great to be here. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. What do you got for us this morning? Well, okay. Uh, uh, first off, I wanted to wrap up the uh, the Navy bus. Okay. Oh, that was Navy that. bus at AOL. That's com. right. That's that. That was that Navy bus at AOL. dot com. We remember. went to the uh, <laughs> University of South Alabama on the twenty eighth of November. Watched Navy beat the University of South Alabama, forty two to forty. A very exciting game decided in the last thirty nine seconds of the game. Close. 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 Really, really excellent. We had uh, 36 on board. Uh, vets uh, showed up at uh, 0830. You know, some of them were reserved. Uh, unfortunately, it's a common symptom of PTSD to withdraw. Yeah. We had a few that didn't make it. But I had, uh, I got two stories to share with you in a little bit about one about an Army uh, veteran and one about a Marine Corps veteran. And these were guys that faced it, had a great time, and. And, uh, so well, I'm going to be all through. ears to hear yeah. that and, and no mouth. So, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the community did really great. Uh, we had a total of $12,000 plus in donations, raffle items, in-kind donations, and ticket sales. Terrific. We had uh, 31 donors, uh, including the AMVETS, the American Legion, the VFW, and not to forget at all, major donor 40 and 8. Oh. Uh, Gulf Coast Petty Officers Association, Soldiers Angels, the Submarine Veterans, the Alumni Associations were a major donor. Regions Bank, Innovations Tyndall, and First Command Financial Planning, Mike Rogers. Outstanding. Uh, and then uh, some restaurants, uh, Firefly, Fish Ale, and Quorums uh, gave more than the usual gift certificates. Uh, they gave us cash, and I really appreciate that. And then um, University of South Alabama gave us a great break on the tickets. Uh, we had $9 tickets, usually 25 I can yeah. tell you that now. <laughs> Huge okay. discount. Huge discount. That was like $1,200 worth of in-kind donation. Good um, deal. Taco Bell said, uh, you know, I asked about breakfast. They said, what do you want for breakfast and how much do you want? How much do you need? It's like okay. an open checkbook. It was. It was. I can't take, you know, that's the Taco Bell at Thomas Drive in, in 98, and I can't thank them enough. Good deal. Uh, Publix um, dished up all of the... Uh, all the 200 bucks. I mean, all the food we could possibly eat. Walmart prepared these huge, huge submarine sandwiches, and donated uh, some of them. Uh, the the meat on them was was an inch and a half thick. Man, I, I mean, wish I could incredible. have made the trip with you. Yeah, the uh, Mobile USA alumni. I was I was the last couple of days before the game, and and all through the the time I was doing this, I was wondering how are we gonna. You know, these guys are going to a football game. How are we gonna do a tailgate? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and that uh, many. <laughs> yeah, for twenty five, uh, you know, and uh, the Mobile uh, USA alumni uh, chipped in for the tailgate, and then the other two alumni associations that were involved bought. They, what the Mobile group did was they gave us a discount on the tickets down to their cost, and then the other two groups chipped in the money to buy the tickets. Okay, okay. So the they other made two alumni the groups. So, yeah. so the uh, Naval Academy alumni invited our wounded warriors to their tailgate. It's it's a big fancy to do. I mean, they had fried oysters. It was catered. They had a Dixieland band. Okay, it was it was the best tailgate on the on on the uh, parking lot. And then Coastal Coaches gave us a discount on the bus. Um, so you know, now, Coastal was, Coaches. That's here. That's, that's the folks. Yeah, that's right. they're right so. at the corner of ninety eight uh, where old Wally World used sure. to be. Uh, they gave us a hundred dollar discount on the bus, um, and if we could have found some folks to donate gas cards, they would have let us pay with gas cards. Oh, there but you I, go. I got started on that a little too late, and 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 couldn't break the code on that. Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time. You know, yeah. we came up with eleven hundred sixty bucks worth of uh, raffle items. Uh, we'll be at the Scottish Festival right here at Gulf Coast State College on the seventh of March with the uh, Navy League. Um, um, uh, booth here, uh, the military connection to the Scottish Festival, um, and uh, we'll Mark be that raffle- one down the yeah, seventh, seventh of of uh, of March. Okay, seven March. Yeah, um, uh, and uh, we'll be raffling those off. We've got forty one raffle items. Uh, you know, we've got a hundred dollar gift card from Triple J. 
I went Ooh, over. Yeah, good oh, place yeah. for a steak. <laughs> oh man, and I had their steak there last week, and it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Angelo's gave us a gift basket. Massage Envy gave us, you know, a gift card for a massage for your sweetheart. Um, the uh, folks at J. Michaels, I walked in there. You know, and I'd had a, you know, he's he's there sometimes, sometimes he's not. So and a I'd great guy, there. just a it, wonderful He's an person. awesome supporter of veterans, and I got to tell you, I Absolutely. walked in there and I thought, you know, maybe I can get a couple of twenty-five dollar gift cards. He says, no, they're fifty. And by the way, I usually get, you know, I usually give two, but these are for veterans. So I'll give you four. Yeah. Okay. And I'm That's like, him. whoa, whoa, you know. That's him. And so his but his uh, his helper brought out six. He says, no, I think I'll give you six. Okay. I mean, you can't. I mean, that's a heart. That's a heart. Absolutely. So, you know, yep. um, the Good guys, down, the guys down at Longhorn uh, Steakhouse out at Pier Park, they chipped in a hundred dollars worth of gift cards. We'll divide those into two, Good two fifty dollars sets. Um, another broken egg. Uh, I mean, I they 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 chipped in the egg and I. Um, Gave us four twenty-five dollar gift cards. You can eat good at the egg and I for twenty-five bucks. Okay? But you know what? Breaking an egg is never any fun. I mean, <laughs> they're good to eat, but breaking them is just a mess. <laughs> you know, uh, and and the list. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, Outlaws Bayou on the beach, Pineapple Willie, Salty Sue's, Outback, uh, First Watch, Domino's, IHOP was really friendly. Um, we got uh, six uh, breakfasts out of them. Uh, Fridays. Um, and uh, oh, Charlie's, huh. all, all you know. So we've got we've got cards, 41, 41 different um, gift cards from all those. We'll see at the Scottish Festival, seven March, um, uh, at Gulf Coast State College. Oh, that sounds like a winner. But you know what we're going to do now? We're going to listen to some music beats because he's been out there beating the streets to get all those donations. What a great job for vets! Here we go. Let's roll. Dirty deeds done dirt, dirt cheap. cheap. I wouldn't recommend doing dirty deeds. That'll get you in trouble. But I do recommend uh, listening up and let's hear what uh, John Kittler has to say. Going to give us some more dirty information. Deeds done dirt on, cheap. <laughs> please don't sing, John. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's why I don't I do promise, it either. I promise. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I was going to tell you about uh, some of uh, some of the folks that went on this trip. Uh, you know, we had an army vet. Yep, you mentioned uh, as that. We'll talk about it. In a, in a, we'll talk about it in a minute. But uh, the, uh, you know, one of the one of the symptoms of PTSD is withdrawal. Um, yeah. And uh, the guy had had a withdrawal episode the week before. Oh goodness. And uh, um, he uh, he was there with his family, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool that he'd had that episode and then decided to go to the game because i mean you know what you're doing when you withdraw is you trying to get away from crowds exactly and, stuff. and here, yeah. here you know so here he's going to go be in a bowl full of you know thirty thousand screaming people one extreme okay. to the other yeah one extreme yeah. to the other and uh you know so he went and i gotta tell you he sat down in front of me and he just had the grandest time good he just i mean you know we talked about it before he went he didn't know how it was going to work out but sure but he just he he I won't say you know he was he was an army guy rooting yeah. for navy uh, which was great um to see um but uh <laughs> momentary lacks of judgment I know I know what I was but, it was what it was you know but it, and, it was good that he got himself involved but he, and, he and got involved anyway. and I think he took a big step forward with Absolutely. that okay yeah. and then there was a, a marine corps veteran who he didn't know what the rules were about the uh companion dogs you know there's companion dogs mm -hmm. that are you know for anxiety sure yeah and uh, and what a tremendous help Tremendous they thing. are. They are. That's a great program. Absolutely. Um, and he uh, he uh, didn't know what the rules are, so he left his at home. Came with a, came with a friend. Huh. Um, and I thought that was a big step forward. And he probably had the best time of anybody there that I could I could see. I mean, he just he just had an awesome time. So I think that there's at least a couple of guys that took a step forward going on this trip and of course that's what that yeah that's what about. it's all about yeah, yeah. And that that's good I'm sure they were they so, were apprehensive I would think and yeah. 
you know, unknown, not knowing what really is going to go on. But uh, most but, all but of them were a little step. reserved when you know when we met at the bus. Sure. Okay, and you could see that. But I can tell you something, Carrie. I, you know, this is radio, so I can't tell. I can't show you a picture. Okay, but I can. I can tell you that those folks, when they got home, they were excited. They were exuberant. They were exhausted. Good. Okay, they were ecstatic. I'm running out of e words here, but they were they were they they really appreciated it. In uh, well, here's an e word. Uh, There's never enough that you can do for veterans, not, not just to do it for veterans, but they really do appreciate it. I mean, it, deep oh, down did. in their soul, they I don't want to say they long for it, but I know sometimes I'm brought to tears by things that strangers, complete strangers, will do mm -hmm. uh, at times, and. Uh, out of their gratitude and the way I look at things, I think is like most of us do. We did our jobs, and it was our honor to do our jobs. We don't really look for the thanks, but when it comes, it, it is very humbling and very appreciated. Well, it was very appreciated, and, and so thank you to these guys. Thank you to all you veterans, all of us veterans out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Um, and thank you, Panama City. Uh, in Panama City Beach and the folks that we've we've talked about. To wrap this up, uh, of course, we're going to do the raffle the 7th of March at the Scottish Festival. Scottish Festival. Okay. At Sounds the, interesting. At, at the Navy League booth. Yeah, it is. You know, I've been trying to figure out how to get the, uh, you know, like the Legion Riders or something involved. But there's there going to some... be kilts and bagpipes and stuff? Yeah, well, there's going to be kilts, yeah. And, that, see, that's the problem is, is you know, uh, Legion Riders on a motorcycle with kilts. I can't quite rectify that. That 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 visual, but um, anyway, oh, we'll, yeah, that it, could be you know. a problem. It might need to uh, don a jock strap, yeah, or I'm, something. Yeah. Something. <laughs> Maybe the Amvet riders would help out too. And <laughs> all right, yeah. Well, throwing the yellow flag here from the uh, producers' booth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't want to run afoul of the powers that be. Anyway, so. uh, what's what's next? Well. Um, Kerry, I, I've enjoyed being on the show with you. So on, uh, you're on on Thursdays from nine to ten. Yep. Starting the twentieth of January, I'm going to be on from from uh, nine to ten. I'm going to be talking about VA ben veterans benefits and topics. Um, I call it uh, two tunes and a talk. Two that's, tunes and a talk. Do that, I get a hash that, mark for recruiting you? Or yeah, something? I guess you do. Yeah, you, you do four of us. You get a, a Navy Achievement Medal or something. You Great know. Army guy with a Navy yeah. Achievement Medal. Uh, that's two tunes, not toots. Two tunes and a talk. Two tunes and, and a uh, talk. We'll be, I like it. We'll be talking about benefits like disability, the GI Bill, housing. You know, there's a website called Veterans Benefits A to Z, and we mm -hmm. can just go on down that list. Uh, we'll be talking about topics like PTSD and the new clinic and other facilities, uh, events of interest. Uh, you know, you can use Navy Bus at AOL.com to send me your post calendars or other calendars for your organization, and I'll be happy to post some info on that. Did you say Navy Bus at AOL.com? God, you know, we just can't get rid of that, can we? Navy Bus sure at AOL.com. Right. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> if you've listened to this show and don't know Navy Bus at AOL.com, you haven't been listening. So. We'll try not to repeat right. it too many more times yeah. today, but probably will. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, like, uh, let's we can do a, a little preview here maybe after after the next set of tunes. And, uh, and uh, today's topic, because we dealt with Wounded Warriors and stuff, is going to be about PTSD, which... You know, as we get into this, if you'll think about your friends and and uh, other veterans and maybe even yourself, maybe you'll recognize uh, aspects of this in many of us. Okay. Well, uh, on another note, I, this just came to mind. I want to share it real quick because I thought it's typical of dealing with some of the bureaucracies within the VA system. I got this card the other day, and they, I understand they've sent out millions of these cards, and it's related to your VA treatment if you're 40 miles or more away. So following the instructions and the prompts on the phones, I call, and uh, then the lady on the other end was very gracious, very nice, and I gave her my info and such, and she says, well, that's, that's uh, what you have to do now is you call your VA medical facility, which is in Biloxi, the hospital, and uh, you let them know that you called us, and once they let us know that you called them, then we can say you can go get your treatment locally because you live more than 40 miles away. I thought, gee, 
that's like the dog chasing its tail around the block, isn't it? But it's just kind of typical. <laughs> so I just laughed and said, okay, thank you. That was nice. That was the nice, simple government solution. <laughs> However, uh, we'll see if we can unravel that on a future show. Maybe that's the next show. <laughs> Sounds good to me. But right <laughs> What's now. What's this stupid card I got? Yeah, let, let's have some more music. Let's roll. <laughs> Arthur Brown and Fire and the Electric Prunes gave us had too much to dream last night. Now let's see what John Kittler's going to give us. What else you got for us, John? Well, okay. Well, I want to give you a little preview on the uh, on the uh, new show. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, a topic, uh, PTSD, and, uh, and that talk was about it. two tunes and a talk that you're going to be hosting and doing on Military Hour here at on Gulf Tuesdays. Coast on Tuesday. Tuesdays is two tunes and a talk. Got it. Tuesdays, two tunes. And, yeah, I really do like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, so we, we, we're going to talk about a little bit about PTSD here and recognizing what is it levels of PTSD treatment and where to get help. Okay, hopefully we'll get through all this in the hour. But I'm all ears. You know, it's, it's a, in, in recognizing it, it's, a, it's characterized by restlessness and sleep problems and inability to focus. Uh, PTSD is a, a, a basically it's a stress reaction, mm-hmm. uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Okay, and you know when you have stress, you you get this flight or fight thing going on, and it's it's kind of a situation where you're locked into the on mode of that. Mm-hmm. Okay, always on alert. Yeah, and uh, you know you may have you may see mental replays of whatever it was that you know the stressful situations in your life. Um, there may be avoidance or emotional shutdown. Um, there may be a disruption to important aspects of social and school and work and family life. Um, and so any of those things can, can help you recognize if there's, you know, a stress situation going on within, uh, that person. Okay. Or yourself. Um, it, it is a stress reaction to a severe or life-threatening uh, catastrophic event or multiple events, not just one, but if there's been multiple yeah. events. You know, they talk, maybe you know, you've heard about the, uh, you know, the point system where you have multiple things happening in a year, mm-hmm. okay? Never heard of the point system, but... Yeah, well, you, you get 300 points or more, bingo, you're a candidate for a heart attack or something like that. You uh, know, see. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's, that's a different topic. Um, but... You know, I'll, I'll give you an example. A guy has uh, a breakup with his girlfriend, followed mm-hmm. by a hurricane, followed by being flooded out of his house, followed by leaving the military, followed by, you know, a work problem. You know, um, there's a pretty good candidate right there. Guess who that was? Yeah, that was me. I, I think I guessed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, main factors are the intensity, duration, and number of experiences. Okay. Uh, Why well, a single very intense experience or a couple of fairly intense experiences, uh, maybe of, of short duration or long duration. Um, you know, the person's mental interpretation and meaning of the experience. Uh, what, what did that experience mean to them? Okay. Was it a distant thing? Was it a near thing? And then there's contributing factors like personal involvement. You know, was he personal? Was that person personally involved in that situation? that they were exposed to, did it have a personal impact, disruption to their life, uh, and is there any guilt associate, associated with it? Um, yeah, uh, I've seen that in, how, in a lot of people. Yeah, and how, how, how much did it activate their immune and personality defenses? In other words, how much did that, you know, stress response? Interesting. Um, yeah, huh. and the focus, the focus is on, it's basically on a focus, uh, there's a focus there on survival. So You're not supposed to be making me think about me, so... But you know what? You know, as I've I've worked about this, um, uh, as I've, I've I've learned about this, and there's a great little handout uh, that you can get up at the vet center in Lynn Haven. It's a it's a, a hand sized handout, uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Read th- reading through that, you know, I can recognize aspects of that in a lot of people, and so PTSD isn't this big bad thing. Okay, it's it's a there is a normal reaction to stress. Okay, all PTSD is is getting stuck, you know, in the on position at a low, medium, or high level. Hmm. Um, 
And, you know, if you've got a low level of PTSD, you may have some symptoms of, of this, some memories and just, you know, there may be some bad dreams. Um, you may have some distraction from homework, family or whatever, but you're still functional. Okay. And usually that resolves sp- simultaneous, spontaneously without, without any kind of treatment or anything like that. You get over it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm the, the, that generation when we were taught, uh, you know, stiff upper lip type thing, and you just keep, get over it. Yeah, yeah. You get over it. Keep yeah, moving yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. patent method. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of been discounted since World War II. But Slap in the face and yeah, move yeah, on. Yeah. Get over it. Right. Okay. Yeah. But you know, then there's a medium level uh, where y- y- there's greater symptom quantities. You know, more more dreams, more memories, mm-hmm. uh, less uh, ability to concentrate. Um, greater intensity of, of feelings and so forth, um, greater disruption, sleeplessness, or uh, even a, depress- de- a depression may set in, um, and hmm. greater disruption to family and stuff. De- you know, it's a, def- a, a greater diminishment of your ability, uh, of your functionality, okay? And at that point, professional help may be and that's that's the key, okay? If it's yeah. impacting, if it's having a severe effect and not resolving itself over a period of a couple of weeks, okay, weeks, like, couple weeks, of weeks, like three weeks, okay, then go go talk to somebody about it. The vet center is a great place to go get confidential help, okay? It's up there, right right up behind uh, the Haney Tech Center, right where on Matt, Minnesota Matt's Avenue. Yeah, there, Matt yeah. Matt Standish, okay, yeah. and and his and his guys huh. up there. Uh, behind the Tyndall Federal Credit Union on Minnesota Avenue. You surprised me when you said weeks because I've—I mean, I've known people that for years that have had it, dealt with it, and yeah, but you I know, should say covered it up. Here's here's the, here, it yeah, up. covered it. Uh, hello, here's here's the deal. Okay, it's it's no shame to go get help. Okay, hmm. the shame is is in all the stuff you go through because you didn't go get help. All the lack of functionality, the the mistakes you make, the the things that happen. Okay, the shame is in that, and and you go get help, and and you know it can help clear things up for you. Okay, good information. Yeah. So, um, uh, and then you know you may have a very you may find somebody who has a very serious situation where, I mean they've got multiple symptoms. Okay. Um, nightmares, rage, panic, intense guilt. That's a that's a, a, a fairly small percentage of this. Okay, and and that's where it becomes pretty obvious that the person needs help, and professional help is required in that situation. Yeah, it sounds um, like that'd be tough. De- tough situation. Depression, inability to function. Okay, when it gets to that point, when you see that in somebody, they need help. You know, and there's no shame yeah. in that. Oh yeah. You know, otherwise it's like it's like cutting your finger. You're gonna let them bleed? No, you know. Yep. Okay, so that's that's gotta uh, fix it. Yeah. Okay, and it never hurts to talk to somebody. Never hurts. And and like I say, you can do that confidentially at the vet center. You know, when you go up. Well, that there, would have to be a must. I mean, the confidentiality would have to be a must. Well, yeah, and you can go up there. It's it's never on your on any record anywhere. Okay, uh, it's it's associated with your health record or the VA. Okay. And uh, and uh, they have professionals up there that you can work with uh, on that, and and so that's that's a great place to to check out if hmm. uh, if you see any of this going on in your life. Good information. Yeah. All right. All right, well, listeners, you heard it. it. It's it's out there. The help is there. All you got to do is avail yourself of it. We'll talk a little so, bit more about that in a, in, a, in, a, in just a you know the next after the next couple of tunes. We're okay. gonna have a couple more, so let's roll. Coming up, the wind cries. Mary, Jimi Hendrix, and she's not there. The zombies. Let's roll. <laughs> We are back with John Kittler, retired Navy captain. John's got some more to share with us now. 
And, John, if you will, take it away. Hey, uh, uh, you know, you ask about that, you know, I said three weeks. And I'm going to read to you out of, the, yeah. uh, out of this little booklet I got. We should be concerned about traumatic stress reactions if they are extremely intense or they last beyond three to four weeks. Huh. Okay. It's a good idea to discuss significant symptoms lasting beyond three weeks with a professional. Okay. And I've known people that have had them for years. Well, you know, let me tell you about some folks I know who have, have had PTSD or have dealt with PTSD, okay? One of them's a physician's assistant. Now, that's not a dumb person, and that's <laughs> not a – that's a person that sees a lot of stuff every day. Shall right, I? right. Okay? Um, an Army medic, okay, who finally got – you know, he, he finally reacted to patching up his buddies, pushing their guts back in. And yeah, I have a grandson stuff. that's a combat medic. Here so, you go. That's yeah. what he was, okay, yeah. 15 years. Wow. Okay, yeah. Everybody reacts differently to stress, okay, yeah. because every, every stressful situation is different. Every mm -hmm. person is different, you know. So PTSD is not due to any kind of internal weakness, okay. It's not that this is a weak person, okay. That's why, that's why the straight enough thing doesn't work, isn't, isn't, you know, uh, worth a hoot. Um, you know, you're not going crazy with this stuff happening. It's just a reaction of stress. And, and you don't always need psychotherapy or, you know, something intense like that. Right. Sometimes you just need to, some help getting things into perspective. Um, if you think you may have had a stress reaction, there's a multiple tests available online. You can, you can Google PTSD test um, and, and take that. Um, but you know what? If you think you should take one, why not do it with a professional up at the vet center? Yeah, absolutely makes you know? sense. Why not, you know, so you don't misinterpret something. It makes complete sense. You know? So, again, those folks are uh, a great bench at the whole uh, If you need directions, call 55, I'm sorry, 522-6102. 522 -6102. Uh, you can call Delwood Clinic or the VA Clinic on the beach, 636-7000. Um, you know, there's an ongoing support group here called the Veterans Foxhole. Great bunch of folks. Joe okay. Rogers. Joe Rogers. And, yep. you know, of course, he helped me with the bus and so forth. Uh, you can just look up the Veterans Foxhole online. And, and so there's, you know, there you go. I mean, you know, we have the ability to deal with this here locally. Um, and... Uh, uh, there's no reason to sit there and, and, and have to deal with the the, situ the situations that that causes because it can be resolved. More so. next week on Military Hour. We are going to bid you adieu, and we're going to thank John Kittler for all the great information and avail yourself of it. If you need it, go get it. If you think you don't need it, go get it anyway. <laughs> Until next week, Military Hour. Detour through without me. Let's roll. <laughs>